Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a review of the Curvy Copter Cube. Uh, I know I've done quite a few videos on this, but it's definitely one of my favourite cubes and I haven't done a full review on it, so that's what I'm going to do today. As I said, it's the Curvy Copter Cube. It's a variation on the normal helicopter cube. There, I haven't actually got one and I think with the amount I've been using this lately, I do want to try out the normal helicopter cube. I'm aware that, that it's basically a, s a slightly simpler version of this and uses mainly the same methods. But I think it would be good to try. Uh, the brand of this, I don't actually know the full, br uh, the maker of it. I know it was designed by Tom Z. From my recollection, I think it was a Lanlan. I did buy this back in 2011, so that's quite a long way for me to remember. If I remember rightly, it was from uh, pickegg.com, which I know has been shut down for a while now. And at the time, it was about £14. And from what I've seen, it's not too far off that now still. So uh, The reason I got it was I'd seen... Red KB do a video on it and it looked really good and it looked really interesting and I think that uh, just the way it looked and the way it moved different to any other puzzle I had really attracted me to it. This is an edge turning puzzle as you can see which includes not shape shifting but jumbling. The difference is that uh, jumbling can lock the cube. As you'll see here uh, it can lock different pieces like that. So I was able to turn these two pieces away from each other which enabled me to turn this and lock the two I just turned. It's a very solid cube, quite a heavy cube, that's probably due to the amount of screws in it. Uh, with there only being six in a normal 3x3 and 12 in this that would make sense. And due to it being so solid and quite heavy I've definitely never had a pop. It also very rarely locks. It's very smooth, I don't know if that's due to uh, any lube on it but I think it's very unlikely that any will be left since 2011 anyway but it's always been a very smooth cube it does lock a bit but that's probably due to the pointy nature of a lot of the pieces as you can see this you can turn with just one finger uh, it does have a bit of corner cutting as you can see there I think this is probably the best way to show you that's a bit over the limit but there it can cut that and no overcutting whatsoever but I wouldn't expect it on a on a cube like this anyway plus it's not really the sort of thing that you would be speed solving you could if you wanted to in which case just be careful as you're going to turn a piece and make sure everything's aligned just before you make the move I'll do a size comparison with the Diane Zanchi and it is just taller so it's just taller, less than a millimeter, um, but on the whole, pretty much the same size. Not enough that you'd notice it feel any different in your hands. So the pros and cons of this cube, um, it's very interesting. It's a unique cube, even compared to the normal helicopter cube. There aren't any others that have this type of shape and these types of pieces. There are more complicated versions of these, like the, like the Curvy Copter Plus, which has another layer of these. Uh, that is probably what I'll end up getting before the helicopter cube if I'm honest because that looks like a slightly more challenging version of this rather than an easier one. And mainly for your collection it's a very good and impressive looking puzzle. Any cons that I can think of it's a fully new method of solving a cube so if you're not if you're in more into collecting rather than solving different cubes then this will be quite hard to learn off by heart um, and will almost definitely be v difficult for beginners. But overall, I would wholeheartedly recommend this cube. It's been a lot of fun and a great new challenge and one that's, that I keep going back to. Okay, so that's it from me. If you have any questions about the cube or want to know where to get it now, uh, then just ask in the comments. Other than that, please like, subscribe and happy cubing. It's a 3x3 shape mod. Uh, most of you probably have seen it. It's quite old by now. You can usually get these in gold uh, or silver and you can